In other news, an amazing surgery and an equally amazing recovery. Local News 8's Darian Laird tells us the story of a team of doctors and vets and how they saved a little boy's best friend. But just a warning, some of the following images may be a little graphic. One open heart surgeon, two vets, two scrub nurses, a physician's assistant, an anesthesiologist, and a 1.2 pound Yorkie, all in this room. This is the first time Blackfoot Animal Health Clinic and cardiac surgeon Dr. Jacob De La Rosa have performed an open heart surgery on a dog this small, let alone any animal at all. Just 12 weeks old, Max came to Dr. Jason Moulton from a Victor family with a closed valve. It, to listen to his heart, it sounds like you're listening to an old Maytag washing machine. So, uh, the family chose the dog for his mild manner and quiet demeanor to match their son Tristan, who has a spine disorder. He was told that he wouldn't live to be o older than four years old. Well, and Tristan is now six years old, and so he's kind of a uh, anomaly by himself. Both began life with a few complications, but just like Tristan overcame odds, Tristan's parents, Travis and Melissa, wanted to make sure that this dog would too. And that, that surgery might be an option. We were totally excited because we knew that we'd be able to keep him longer and Tristan had have his little buddy for a lot longer. After almost two hours of surgery, under a lot of pressure and a little heat. He's, we made him sweat a little bit, so that kind of makes us excited that we made a, we made a heart surgeon sweat. The team sewed up the little heart, not much larger than a half dollar, and Max was put in an incubator to rest. He's so small that the surgery itself was like microsurgery. Uh, he, he equated to doing this type of surgery on a premature baby. Now less than 24 hours later, Max is walking around. Oh. 